Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to my channel, Manifest with Joey. Listen, I'm back and I'm back at it like a fucking crack addict, you feel me? We're gonna be talking about everybody is yourself pushed out, okay? So, and the reason why I'm talking about this is because there's a huge, wide variety of information involving this topic, okay? But I'm gonna give you my point of view based on experiences, what I personally believe is soon to be true for my reality, okay? So take what I'm saying with a grain of salt. If you don't resonate with something I'm about to say, you do not need to feel inclined to automatically jump on the bandwagon and assume it for your reality if it doesn't resonate, you feel me? So everybody's yourself pushed out. To put it basically in a, in a simple way, everybody is showing up as a direct reflection of your self-concept. Now your self-concept is a massive accumulation it is an accumulation of everything that is you. Your thoughts, your beliefs, your opinions, your expectations, your feelings, right? Your emotions, everything, everything. Okay, so when you hear these people talk about focusing on your SP and then focusing on your self-concept, right? And then you hear other people saying, stop focusing on SP and focus on your self-concept. Your self-concept is everything. So you focusing on your SP is Focusing on your self-concept, you're just focusing on that part of yourself in relation to the SP involving you. It all starts with you. It will start with you. It will end with you, which takes me back to my point. Everybody is yourself pushed out. Everybody's constantly showing up again as a reflection of your state of being, self-concept, whatever you want to identify it as. I call it self-concept, okay? So when you're sitting there thinking shitty thoughts, oh, this person doesn't love me. This person will never want to be with me. Or maybe it's subconsciously. You're assuming that you're not worthy of love. You are not chosen, right? Or anything like that. These are generic examples, but these are things that people deal with, okay? These are things that people assume for themselves, either consciously or unconsciously, okay? On the conscious aspect, a lot of times people are choosing to do that, and they're not aware of that, okay? But we're not going to get into all that. So if you're having those types of thoughts, what's going to happen? Let's say it's involving your specific person. If you're directly assuming that they don't like you or that they ghosted you or anything like that, and maybe you're assuming subconsciously that you, don't, you are not worthy of love, you are not chosen, all right, excuse me, what's going to happen is that person's probably going to show up in a way to fit that mold. And that can happen in getting cold behavior, them disrespecting you, them saying something that you don't want to hear or doing something that you don't want to hear, them running off with a third party, right? Them just flat out not replying and blocking you. These are all different things that can happen. So that's why in my latest video on TikTok, if you don't follow me, go check me out, Manifest with Joey. You will find me 12K baby and still growing. I mentioned this in my latest video on TikTok to really stay on top of your thoughts. You hear this all the time, okay? You have to be willing to stay on top of your thoughts. Discipline yourself. Emotionally discipline yourself. Discipline yourself across the board. Practice being mindful with where your focus is going throughout the day, right? If a negative thought comes up, you stop it in its tracks, you accept it, right? And then you release it. Because when you accept something for what it is, you acknowledge it, but you're okay with it. You feel neutral about it. You're not fighting it. You're not resisting it. You're not affirming a bunch of shit that you don't want to affirm. You don't really give a shit. That's that place of neutral. Think in your own life things that you feel neutral about. You don't really give a fuck about it. Right? You're just like, eh, whatever. That's the power of acceptance. So when you have a negative thought, accept it in the moment. Bring your awareness immediately onto thoughts. Then employ who you desire to be. You know, I am worthy of love. I am the person that knows they are chosen for love. I am the person that is completely, utterly embodiment of confidence, right? You accept it, then bring your awareness onto thoughts that employ who you desire to be or employ who you want. Um, excuse me, or employ what you want, okay? So in the event of an SP, that would look like this. Me and SP have such an amazing relationship. We have such a fun, loving marriage, right? You clear it out and then affirm it what you want. You're letting go of the resistance. You're letting go of the fear, the doubts, right? And then you're affirming and you're saturating your inner world with what you want. And then the outer world will begin to match the changes you've made within. It starts within and it gets projected outward. Okay? So monitor your thoughts because people are quote-unquote listening. <laughs> if in the moment you are thinking that your SP doesn't like you, 
they are going to reflect, they will, will, will reflect that back to you on some level. As to how they reflect it back, I gave examples earlier. Those are common examples, but of course, I don't really know how they're going to reflect it back, but you could be certain that they will. So rather than run that risk, start affirming it what you want. Start training yourself to focus on what you want. Practice acceptance. Practice being more mindful. Stay on top of your thoughts. Discipline yourself, okay? All right? Y'all have a beautiful rest of your day. Stay safe. Stay humble. Stay loved, baby. And you deserve the world. You deserve everything you desire. Okay? If you desire a one-on-one -on -one session, feel free to reach out to me. Joey underscore Gallant at Yahoo.com. I'll do what I can for you. If you want to reach out to me on other platforms, I supplied my TikTok down below. Manifest with Joey. All right? Other than that, listen, you have a beautiful rest of your day. Stay safe. Like I said, all right? Peace. We out of here.